When you hear about domestic violence, most people think of adults, but 57% of young students in Wisconsin said they know someone who has been a victim of teen dating violence. A bill introduced at the Capitol would require every school district to teach 7th through 12th graders about the signs of dating violence and train school staff on how to respond. News 3's Amanda Quintana has the details. For many middle and high school students, dating is new and exciting, but for one in three, it will become abusive. Just last year, 2017, 15% of all female students in Wisconsin experienced teen dating violence of a sexual nature, and 9% experienced dating violence of a physical nature. So we're talking at least one in 10 students are experiencing sexual or physical violence from a dating partner right here in our state. A bill introduced for the third time at the Capitol aims to stop domestic violence by educating educating students on signs of abuse and what it means to give consent. So not only how do I take care of myself and what, what signs do I look forward and how do I stand up for myself and communicate well, but how do I do that for the people around me as well. Social media opening up another way to bully and harass your partner, putting teens at higher risk of eating disorders, dropping out of school, and becoming a victim later on in life. The goal is to break the cycle of abuse, teaching what's unacceptable from the beginning and stopping teens from becoming abusive adults. Unhealthy uh, relationship behaviors, abusive behaviors, start as young as 12, 13 years old. So we know that this, this behavior is not just sort of something that comes from nowhere. These are learned patterns of dangerous behavior that begin in teen years. If passed, the bill would change the way we treat the domestic violence issue, shifting focus from response to prevention and stopping it before it starts. Many of these kids may have never dated before. Um, everyone has the first time that they've dated, right? And some of these kids come from homes where there may not be healthy relationships even in their homes. Amanda Quintana, WISC News 3. 20 states have passed similar legislation. Representative Sargent hopes the bipartisan bill will get a public hearing within the next month.